So for this example, you have that given the limit when x approaches to 5 of f of x minus f of 5 is divided by x minus 5 is equal to 3, which of the following must be true, might be true, or can never be true? Remember that the alternative form of the definition of the derivative is f prime of c equals x that approaches to c at f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c. Okay. So let's look at this one. f prime of 5 is equal to 3. Okay, so is this correct? Absolutely. Why? You know that f prime of 5 is equal to the limit when x approaches to 5 of what? f of x minus f of 5 divided by x minus 5. And this, by the hypothesis, you know that this is 3. So this is a must. Okay? Of course that's true. Now, is this possible? Absolutely not. You know that this is 3. That one, you cannot change it. Okay? So this one, never. Okay? This one, nonsense. Okay, now, f of 5 is equal to 3. Here, be careful. Why? You don't have the prime. Do you know what's up with the original? No? Where's the original? I don't see it. Okay? So can you evaluate f, of fi f at 5? I don't know. Okay? Okay? Because this will give you an operation. So this one might. Okay? I know that f of 5 uh, will give me something, but might. Okay? You don't have enough information. We don't have um, enough information. Okay? Um, f is continuous at x equals 0. Okay, so let's look. Do you know anything about x equals 0? At x equals 0. This is at 5. 5. Okay, so I don't know anything. Might. Same, not enough information. I need more information. I need to see the function or something. Right? Now, f is continuous at x equals 5. What can you tell me about it? Is it differentiable at 5? Absolutely, because at 5, I have that the derivative evaluated at 5 is 3. Therefore, since it's differentiable, okay, it's continuous. So, must, because, okay, differentiability implies, okay, continuity. Okay, and that's always. Okay, if it's differentiable, it's continuous. Not the other way, but yes, uh, differentiability, remember, is super powerful. Okay, so this one, the limit uh, when x approaches to 5 of f of x is equal to f of 5. Uh, is this true? What do you think? What, what is this reminding you of? Mm, maybe continuity, right? You know that the last condition of continuity, it was what? Um, at x equals c, the limit when x approaches to c of f of x, it, was e it needed to be equal to f of c. So surprise, surprise, this is a must. Why? Because indirectly what they are telling you here, okay, uh, is that this, uh, is it continuous at 5? Absolutely. Okay, so because this is telling us what? Telling us that f of x, okay, is continuous at x equals 5. And you know that that's completely true, okay, uh, because of the definition of differentiability. It's differentiable, therefore continuous.